The season's over. We've had a blast playing one of our favorite games, Duck Duck Goose, or as the SFGC bird dogs call it, Duck Duck. Harvesting waterfowl from the field to the table. It's what it's all about. You know, it usually goes about the same. Everybody stands up. Bang, 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 bang. No ducks hit the water. The dog jumps in the water. Bang, bang. One shot. Duck hits the water. Dog jumps in the water. You know, they bring the duck back or a decoy. When they climb into the blind or the boat, the first thing they do is shake it all off. All the pond water and the duck marsh and duck dander and everything goes on you and your shotguns. It's time of the year to break them down and clean them. While you're getting bored, dogs are dreaming, hunters are dreaming of the great days on the marsh. Harvesting, like I said, from the field to the table. Duckle orange, mm, duck kebabs, goose fingers. Yeah. We really like these Mossberg pump shotguns for our waterfowl hunting. They're inexpensive, safe, and reliable. Day to day, we spray a little bit of spray lube in their actions to keep them working smoothly. Wipe down the exteriors, you know, because normal, normal hunting conditions out there, environmental conditions, you know, when the bird dog shakes all the marsh muck all over your gun and you're shooting half dozen rounds a day, weekend after weekend through the season, that's about all they need. But by the end of the season, you need to do a thorough cleaning. Mossberg 500s and 835s and their variants all break down about the same. To disassemble a Mossberg 500 or its variants, first thing you want to do is make sure the action is clear and the gun is safe. Look in the bore, make sure. Look in the tube, check again, safe. Okay, if you unscrew the magazine nut here, pull the barrel off. There's a pin here. We push this pin out. The trigger assembly then pulls out. And inside the shotgun you'll have the bolt slide. You'll have an interrupter. You'll have a cartridge stop. These just fall out. Believe me, when you put it back together, there's a trick to all this. This bolt slide then will, will slide out if it's lined up in this window. You can pull it out. There's a window cut in the frame. You can pull it out. Pay attention to the order and the direction up and down on these parts. Then your, then your uh, bolt can pull out from underneath. The elevator ramp. The elevator ramp can come out. There's one more part in there I like to remove. That's the ejector. The ejector has one screw in it. Unscrew that ejector. And then your gun is totally stripped down. Next we'll clean the parts. Clean the bar of the shotgun with a bore cleaning brush and wipe. You can use powder solvent and then I like to use after powder solvent thin layer of oil for the inside of the barrel for storage. That simple. When it's shiny and clean, it's clean. To clean the action of the gun and the parts, the bolt slide and the bolt assembly and the uh, and cartridge stops and interrupters and the elevator and the trigger group, I like to use a product like Gun Scrubber. Uh, these are field guns. I spray all these pieces off. Take a soft brush to them. Uh, 
Sun Scrubber is a great product. Scrub and wipe down each piece. When the paper towel's clean, the part's clean. After a simple cleaning, I'm going to lube them. You use the same rim oil lubricant. That's good for an arid climate out here in the Rocky Mountain southwest country. If you're in salt water or more corrosive environments, you probably want to use a heavier lube. Like I say here, a, a light lube is all these parts need. Now, like I said, the reassembly of the shotgun is where the trick is. It's the relationship between the parts, how they all fit in there so you don't struggle with it. The elevator's simple enough. These pins go in the holes on the frame of the shotgun as pivot points. You don't even have to take that out if you don't want when you're cleaning it, but like I said, I pull the ejector out and clean behind it and reinsert it and put it all back, get it totally clean each season. The bolt, that's the upper part. This is one of the tricks. See the groove? The groove in there, the notch, same it matches up with on the bolt slide. Fits under there. That's so the bolt slide, when the tangs on the slide itself, when these tangs connect here, it'll pull the bolt back and forth. So all that's got to be lined up. When I pull it apart, I try to pay attention. And the relationship here to get it all centered is so the slide can fit in this window in the frame and then have the tangs of the slide handle, these tangs right here, fit in it like that. So when you reassemble the shotgun, the slide's going to have to end up back here so it'll all fit together. So I, I lift up the elevator, slide the bolt in, settle it down in there. Now this matters, it goes in the window with the tangs and then it notches into the bolt there. Now these are the two parts that fell out when you were disassembling the gun. This is the cartridge interrupter. It has a pin, and the pin goes in this hole. It's kind of self-explanatory. Self and then this is the cartridge stop. It just sets in here on the rail. The trigger group actually holds it in. So when you're disassembling the gun and you pull the trigger group out after pulling the pin, those pieces always just kind of fall out in your hand. Set the tr trigger assembly down in there. Reinstall the pin. It's flush on both sides now. All's good, ready to go. Action's working good. Reassemble the barrel. Lock it down, put the magazine nut on. Guns lubed, clean, ready to go for another hunting season.